Well, I've got the one and only Danny Dyer. How are you? I'm very well, baby. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, darling. Now, this is a lovely little role, a bit different, not the gangster usual role we, we well, that's, know that's and love you for. Baby, that's why I've done it. I'm, you know, I'm trying to do something a little bit different. Ray Cooney, obviously, legend that he is, old school thespian lovey, approached me, and I swear to God, I thought, he's got the wrong gazer. <laughs> he's got me mixed up with someone else. But I thought, you know what, I love a bit of comedy. So I, I ain't bigging myself up, but I can be a bit of a funny f <laughs> one. <laughs> So, you know, um, I thought, right, let's go to work, you know, and, and so, you know, some of the people in it as well, I was yeah. just blown away by it. What is the storyline? Can you, can you tell our viewers what the storyline is? Very simple. About? It's a farce, so it's like a carry-on film. It's a, uh, about a black cabbie, me, John Smith, who's a bigamist, got two wives, been married for seven years, right? It works because he does his night shift and he lives with uh, Denise Van Atom. When he does his days, he lives with Sarah Arden in the night. <laughs> anyway, same happens to him in the beginning of the film. He goes to us, but he gives out two addresses. He f***s it up, so basically he knows he's got the whole... He's basically got a whole day to stop these two women ever meeting. Right. So he gets up to the most ridiculous things, scams, the <laughs> comes out of his mouth. It's like, it's, it's a farce, it's hilarious, it's ridiculous, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, you know, he, he loves them both. He's not a wrong one, he just loves two women. No, no wrong with that, babe. It's something that you could get away with in real life. What, loving two birds? Yeah. Um, nah, nah, it's too <laughs> yeah. much aggravation, isn't it? You this know feels pretty <laughs> Too much aggravation, baby, no, you know, you know, just, you know, you know I only love one bird. Of course, of course you do. And what about um, Sarah Harding? Because this was her first main role. What was she like to work she with? She pulled it out of the bag, babe. She was yeah. good. She was relaxed, you know. She was a bit out of her comfort zone when we first started it, but yeah. she got the job on merit, you know. And it's, you know I see the audition tape. She was the best one by far. Right. So, you know, uh, I, I think what she does, going on, you know, stage and singing and stuff, I can that, do you know what I mean? Right. And we've got Denise, obviously, we know her for yeah, the dance. Denise is showbiz, isn't she? Denise can do whatever, mate, she'll put her hand on a that girl. <laughs> Tap dance, <laughs> cartwheels, does a good cartwheel. Does she? Yeah, you know, she's great, it. she's great, Denise. And yeah. you've got the old school, obviously, cars like the June Whitfields, you've got the old cars that I'm Julie Dench. I know. Um, you know, Sir Cliff Ritz, Sir Cliff, come in one day playing no, a busker. what was he doing, Cliff? He just plays a busker. The joke is, obviously, I'm a cabbie, I'll pull up, flick this geezer a pound, it sort of goes, is that old mate? I go, we well, are the Cliff Richard, are you? And I pull off his Cliff. <laughs> now, you know, only someone like Ray Cooney has got the power to make a phone call to say, Cliff, you couldn't come and do me a favour. There's a bottle of Pims in it for you and a, a bouquet of flowers. Um, and he comes in, does it. Brilliant. So, Rolf Ferris, Russ Abbott, Sue Pollard, Joan Whitfield, yeah, Maureen Lippmann. Oh my you God, know, what a cast. Biggins, Blair. <laughs> Not Tony. Right, you know, I mean, uh, on every, I had what, Donald Sinden. Oh, brilliant. Classic. Babe, he was Classic. Making, baby, he was making films in the 20s. I know. Honestly. But that shows how much Ray must be loved to be able to pull that power. He is loved. He is loved. He's, you know, and he's the ambassador of the Shaftbury Theatre, babe. I've just actually been walking across there and David Jason's just turned up. <laughs> he makes a call. David Jason turns up, you know. I mean, we love this. Oh, I mean, I was, I mean, he didn't have who I was, but <laughs> it, was a, it was a moment. Oh, I, was, I, was, I was like completely like, like, oh my god, I had a photo of him. And so, you know, I'll be rooting about it tomorrow, googling it, see if I can get that photo up, baby. Oh, Danny, well, well done. What a film. I can't wait to see it. Really looking forward to it. Pleasure. And what is next for you? I'm doing a, a remake of Death Wish mm. called Vendetta. So, uh, Are you it's a complete. Nasty, yeah, baby? I am, yeah. No, I'm not a baddie, babe. No, I'm the one that goes on the, you know, goes on the absolute rampage because these little <laughs> just kill me, mum and dad. So, you know, I take the law into my own hands like a vigilante. <gasps> oh, so a bit of a different role. So completely different to this, that's what I'm saying, isn't it? Well, all this nice. fluffy, nice and sweet, and, you know, like, oh, I don't swear once it's today, to go <laughs> cutting people's heads off. <laughs> I've got one extreme to the other. But, um, you know, got to a pound note, but I've got to pay that mortgage. Well, that's interesting time, isn't it, with Michael Winner? Yeah, no. Yeah, Michael. No, it's really sad. Um, and the day that he died, we was, I was actually um, rehearsing. Uh, on, I've been, like, sort of, because I'm, like, XS, SAS in the film. So he was doing all drills and that, and the news came through, and it was a bit weird, a bit, a bit strange, a bit, yeah. a bit odd to think yeah, that you know, know. Like we're just about to start this and he's gone. But yeah. Did Michael know that it was going on when he was alive? No, I don't think, he, I don't think so. I mean, um, no. it's all been quite uh, low-key, really. I haven't yeah. really spoke about it yet. It's still in, in fairly early stages. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know how ill he was before yeah, he died. I don't I know. know how... I know. Whether, he, uh, whether he was with it or not, you know, but, um, you know, we'll make it for him up there. Oh, bless you, Dan. That's so sweet. Well, you're a lovely guy. I'm so pleased for you. Well done. Thank Can't you. Can't wait. <laughs>